I want to talk about why you might want to use AI in data tools. So why might you want any AI features inside your data tools? There's a long list of reasons, actually. You know, one is um, as much as AI, you know, helps in, in many other functions, you know, it's, um, it's, it's a real productivity gain. You know, code generation and coding is very helpful, you know, for, you know, writing the many lines of boilerplate code, you know, remembering all the syntax or design patterns, you know, that, um, that you might not have handy right now and, you know, in the data space. That equally applies, you know, there are data professionals writing a ton of code in SQL and Python, you know, you name it and what framework. And having the ability to get high quality generation of larger pieces of code is immensely useful. And I, and I think that's, you know, that's, that's one big category, right? And, and we can translate that actually to many tasks in the data space. It, it's always the same idea though, right? You, you make people more productive slash help them do their jobs better. And that's kind of the idea of technology all the way along, right? You know, technology is meant, you know, to facilitate, you know, a certain problem solving, a certain task. And, and, and AI is, you know, if you will, one, one way of doing that, right? If that's, you know, data governance, data exploration, whatever it may be. On the data side, though, there is also another angle to it, which, uh, which I think is the, it's the more interesting one. And that's... Um, as it turns out, you know, humans are really bad in reasoning about data. Uh, so, you know, on the one side, you know, and, uh, you know, there is a great books like, you know, uh, Thinking Fast and Thinking Slow about all of the biases that, that each of us carry that, you know, kind of makes us want to look for the data we want to find, you know, rather for, you know, looking across all of the patterns. That's, that's one piece. But the other piece is also a, there's a genuine limitation in, um, in our ability to understand complex pattern and reason about that, right? You know, and, and if you doubt me, right, you know, then, I don't know, you know, why is chess hard, right? Why is it hard to multiply, multiply you know, four-digit numbers, you know, in, 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 in our brain? Because, you know, our brains is not made for that. Um, and this is where um, AI technology is massively helpful because it kind of takes all of the best practices of good data analysis, right? How do I reason about data? How do I look, you know, for data? How do I present that? And, and makes that broadly accessible. So, you know, it's on the one side for professionals, a great productivity gain, great. But on the other side, it genuinely helps us working better with data and um, using it um, for... Um, all sorts of processes, decisions, products, ideas um, to make them truly data driven versus data validated. Okay, I like that. So it's a mix of doing technical things like getting the AI to help you write code, but also the maybe slightly less technical stuff and more on the interpretation side of things, making mm -hmm. sure that you're not having any psychological biases in your analyses. Okay, so um, are these tools going to be are they purely for data teams or does it go beyond that? Are there any, is there anyone else that's going to benefit from AI and data tools? Yeah, and uh, it needs to go beyond that. And, you know, a tool always needs to make sense, you know, for the person using it, right? So I, that's, I think that's, uh, that's really important to keep in mind. And the tools for data professionals, they are different, you know, for, you know, for the, like tools for laymen, right? You know, just you know, take a Formula One steering wheel, you know, well, I couldn't use it, you know, but, you know, I, I can drive my car every day. So tools need to fit in the context, in the mental model, in the skill level of the person using it. And it means that um, with AI, we're also going to have a spectrum, right? We're going to have on the one side, technical tools for technical oriented people. If you think about the whole idea of code generation, it's really built on the idea that, that someone understands the output, right? By definition, this means that this family of tools is made for a, a highly skilled technical expert. And on the other side of the spectrum, you know, we have people who don't know code, who don't know SQL, who don't know data structures. And in today's world, you know, basically they have two real options, right? One is they ask someone who is, and that's, you know, the, the usual cycle of, you know, people in a business function, you know, asking a, a data skilled person to do something for them and they explain the problem and that person you tries to understand the problem and then tries to do the analysis and then gives them something back. That's, that's one way of doing it. And the other way of doing it is, is, is not doing it at all. And, uh, 
And uh, the, interesting, the, the interesting piece, though, is that a very good way of thinking about generative AI is actually how can it be used um, to scale scarce resources? And you know, data professionals are scarce. You know, they're not in abundance. And what it allows us is what I just described, that you know, when you have a question, you know, that instead of you know, you know, calling one of those few data professionals, you can actually talk to a you know, data agent who is doing the same steps, right? understanding what you're looking for, um, you know, doing the analysis and giving it back to you in an understandable form. And this is only built on the idea, right, that you, know, you are not leaving your space of competency, right? You're not, you know, you're not required to switch to a technical domain. You're not required to see or write code. You know, you're interacting with the AI system like you would interact with an analyst. And, um, and so that means that you know, we, we will have a broad spectrum of AI and data depending on you know, what the person is, what their context is, and what their level of expertise is.